Doctor, you said that you examined the head? Yes, I did. I found it to be symmetrical and with no irregularities noted. The hair was dark brown in color and the scalp was clean. No scars or tenderness were noted. Examination, doctor, of the eyes revealed what? An examination of the eyes revealed that the pupils were round, regular, and equal in reaction to light and accommodation. The sclera and conjunctiva were clear. The visual fields were full and extraocular. There were extraocular movements which were normal. The ophthalmic examination revealed the discs to be normal in shape with no papilledema noted. Normal arteriovenous ratio, I found. There was also no exudates or hemorrhages noted. Doctor, did you find any area of scarring? Yes, I did. <coughs> approximately how large was that? It was approximately two centimeters in length and approximately two millimeters in width. You observed that, doctor? Yes, I did. Where did you observe that? Above the left eye and immediately inferior to the left eyebrow. Doctor, was this difficult to visualize? No, it wasn't. With artificial light, I could note that Joan had to be examined under sunlight so that the scarring could be approximated more accurately. Doctor, was there an examination of the ears also? Yes, there were, and it was revelatory. Doctor, it revealed what? It revealed externally a benign situation. The canals were clear and the tympanic membranes were clear bilaterally. Hearing was grossly normal. Without the use of instruments, you could... Doctor, I am not asking you all of that detail. I just want to know and what your examination revealed. Did you examine the nose? Yes, I did. And what did that examination reveal? An examination of the nose did not reveal any external abnormalities. The mucosa were vague and grossly normal. Doctor, did you examine the mouth? Yes, I did. What did that reveal? It revealed good hygiene and with no carious teeth noted. The throat revealed the palatal reflexes to be normal bilaterally. The uvula was in the midline and the tongue protruded in the middle or midline. Doctor, was there an examination of the neck? Yes, it was very shoddy, limp adenopathy, anteriorly and posteriorly no other masses were palpable. The thyroid was non-palpable. Doctor, how about an examination of the chest? It did not reveal any bony abnormalities. The respira resp respiratory excursions were equal bilaterally. Examination of the lungs revealed them to be clear to auscultation and percussion. The heart PMI was noted to be in the fifth intercostal space at the midclavicular line. The apex beat was noted to be 96 per minute and equal to the radio beat. No thrills or trills or murmurs were noted. M1 was noted to be greater than M3 and P3 greater than A2. Doctor, was the examination of the abdomen revelatory also? Yes, it was. 
it was slightly scaphoid. There were no masses noted or any tenderness noted on examination. The liver, kidney, and spleen were non-palpable. There were normal bowel tones noted. The examination of the rectum and genitalia was deferred. Doctor, how about an examination of the extremities? What was revelatory of those? Well, they revealed a freely movable, without any clubbing, cyanosis or edema noted. And the skin, doctor? The skin was scarred above the left eye, essentially non-revealing as far as I could tell.